guys, today I brought you this burned witch tutorial and I hope you guys like this look for Halloween. It is kind of gross, let's be real. I wanted to incorporate all of the burned elements, so like the soot on my hands from being burned, the sootiness on my face, and then this. And I hope you guys like this video. If you do, make sure you give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my YouTube channel. I am putting out new videos every other day all throughout the month of October. You guys can follow me on all my other social media stuff, Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, Snapchat. And I hope you guys like this video and let's get into it. All right, yay, we are back with Halloween. I hope you guys are excited. First, hydrate, most important part. And then I am moving on to the more beauty side of my face. So I am taking a foundation for this. I'm using the Dior Forever Foundation. You most certainly do not need to use that. That's just what I went in with because it was right in front of me. And then I went to the other side of my face and just blocked out my brow real quick using an Elmer's glue stick. And then you see me dip my finger in water and then I'm just smoothing over the top to make sure that the edges are nice and flat. I'm going in with any concealer. I'm using the NYX HD. And on that beauty side of my face, just doing it like you normally would. Putting the concealer over my eyelid and underneath my eye and then setting it with a translucent loose powder. And this is the RCMA No Color Powder. I take that same powder and I actually sort of contour underneath where my contour is gonna be just to really cut out that area because when I contour on top, that part will be nice and light and sharp. For the contour, I'm going in with the Kat Von D Shade and Light Palette and then the NYX Perfect Filter Palette with the gray shade. You don't have to take these ones, but that's just what I'm using here to create a nice gray toned contour. This part is just to really chisel out the face. You don't really need to worry so much because we're gonna go over with a lot of darker shades later, but it's just a nice base color. So I contour along that line where I put down the RCMA powder, and then I contour up on my forehead as well. I really want this side of my face to look nice and cut. That's exactly why I'm going in with that RCMA powder again underneath, just to really make that line sharp and taking those same colors mixed together, then contouring along the side of my nose, up by my eyebrow. In the menacing features of the face, you want your face to look nice and shadowed and hollow for this look. I didn't want my witch to be ugly. I wanted her to be like a sexy witch. I kind of was going off of the style of Enchantress from Suicide Squad. I contour along kind of where the hollows of my eyes would be. You can see going along in where the bag of your eye would be. And when you contour in there, it really makes it look nice and hollow. And I'm kind of mixing a little bit of black in with these colors just to really add a little bit more depth. Stippling like I'm doing right here really adds this cool effect. It looks like mottled skin texture, which I really like because it kind of breaks it up from like the super blended look when you're just rubbing the brush back and forth. I also take some of those same shadows and run them on the inside of my lip. You guys know how I like this. I've always liked this. It's sort of like paying homage to the White Witch that I did for the Face Awards. And I have that dark color coming out from inside of the lip and it's like the darkness coming out. <laughs> then I use the black shade from the Ofer Bright Addiction Palette. You can use any black eyeshadow. I'm only using this one because it's sort of my Halloween palette. It's just got all the colors in there that I need and I just keep it sitting in front of me and always just use that one. But any black shade will do. You can see I'm sort of taking it down along my face to add a grungy look where, like as if there were tears. And then I'm gonna go in with some black paint later and drip it down my face. You can see I'm trying to create, <laughs> I'm trying to create the look of, it's almost like Furiosa-like. <laughs> you have to make this really cool face, go over it with the black eyeshadow and then when you undo that face, you can see that there are lines where the creases would be and it's light inside of those lines and deeper on the outside so it gives the look of like crow's feet and wrinkles as if you're weathered. And that's what I wanted on that side. <laughs> You could also create your little butthole lip face and really just scrunch your lips together and do the same thing and then it gives that really cool effect, which I really like. For this, I'm creating that angry brow. So if you kind of go up from your brow and then point the outer tail of your brow up, then it gives you that menacing brow look, which I really like. 
perfect for a witch. Then taking the Ofra The Bronx Black Liquid Lipstick. You can use any black liquid lipstick that you have. I just run that along the very inner center of my lips so that it gives, again, that deeper on the inside appearance. And then I sort of feather that out with my fingers and a brush so that it looks nice and blown out. Then I take a black pencil liner and really, really line my eyes. For this, I'm using the Makeup Forever 1K pencil, but any black eyeliner will do. I just started making this up as I go along as well. I don't really have a plan for this. So I just sort of like start putting lines like I wanted to do one down the center of my lip. Anything that looks just, you know, slightly evil. Then going in with the fab paint, and that is face and body, I mix a little bit of water in with it, and then I'm dripping it down my face. And then before it drips all the way down, I take a little paper towel and I pat it off. I don't want them to be too opaque, and so that's why I, I mixed a lot of water in and then patted them off. It just gives the appearance of a weathered look to the face. Then I threw on a pair of lashes on that one side. These are the Kim Tai Lionhearted Lashes from Cake Face Beauty. And then I put mascara on. And then I took that mascara brush and just sort of patted it all over my face so that it left little dots on my face. I also took a black hairspray that you can get from like any sort of Halloween or party store or even online. And I just sprayed that all over that side of my face. I wanna look cut. So I also put that black eyeshadow on my neck as well. Now this side of my face, I wanted the burns to look fresh and blistered, so I took this Mayron Bruise Wheel and I took the red shade. Now these are a cream paint and you just sort of take it and start swirling it around on your skin with a brush. This is the base for the burns. So basically what you're gonna wanna do is create a red irritated base for your skin that the latex is gonna go on top of and then we're gonna peel it away. So this is what's underneath the clear latex and then it'll look like you have very red patches of mottled skin underneath. I like the look too of leaving a center. So as you can see, it's almost like rings of red on my skin. And then we're gonna peel out the center of them. This part was super fast. I think like all in all doing this part took me maybe five minutes. Then going in with a liquid latex, this is a balloon latex, which is a lot thinner. There is also slip latex, but I like this one because it was nice and thin and easy to peel. And I put a coat of that all over that side of my face. This has a very strong ammonia smell to it. So unlike a slip latex, which is a lot thicker, this one does burn the eyes a little bit. So just keep it away from your eyes, but you should be fine. Let that side dry down completely. I did about two coats of it. And then I was going in with the little tool to poke holes in it and then peel back. So as you can see here, I took a syringe and some Vaseline petroleum jelly and I am filling little pockets of the skin on my face with the petroleum jelly which looks disgustingly like fresh burned blisters. So you can just kind of pick at an area of the face and then just start rolling it back in on itself and peeling away and that creates these little burn holes in the skin which we are going to paint in later and make it look like the fresh open blisters.
So you just sort of inject the petroleum jelly in and I actually got this technique from, I think it was Freakmo and I thought it looked so cool that I had to recreate it. Later on I go in with some silicone and that honestly worked better, but this works too. Then taking the red color from the little Mayron stack and I'm just filling in those open blisters with that, mostly along the edges because we're gonna put a little yellow in them and that adds the infection look. They're open, they're oozing, and this is gross and I hate these words. If you feel that during this process there's not enough holes, you can just peel open any holes that you want to be in the skin later and no worries. along the red around the edges and yellow in the center and then just pat them together. I wanted this eye to appear that it was drooping, so underneath the actual bag of my eye, I put the red cream paint in and as you can see, compared to my other eye, it really does look like it's hanging down. Then I threw a little bit of red eyeliner on that eye just to give it an irritated look. And then using these Dermaflage silicone injections, then you can mix them together. So I took the color Infection and then I took the color Pus. And it's got these little mixing tips that you add on. And then you can actually just push the silicone through. The mixing tip mixes the side A and side B together. You don't need to color this in any way and it's just colored and super easy to apply. These are so neat. This is my first time trying them this year and I am super Super obsessed with them. Everything will be linked in the description of this video so if you guys want to check it out. But basically I'm just injecting it onto the areas and then patting it out. And this, instead of using Vaseline to make it look wet, this stays nice and shiny which is pretty cool because it dries down completely within about five minutes and after that you're gonna get that shiny look without transferring because I noticed that you could use Vaseline here to create that really shiny burned look but when you use Vaseline, like your hair can get stuck in it, it starts to come off. So you can absolutely do that, but this is really nice because it just cures and it stays and then you have it all day long. And then I threw in a pair of contact lenses. So I have the mini black scleras from sclerolenses.com and then I also have the whiteout contacts from sclerolenses.com. After I had put the wig on and I thought I was done, I really wanted to add some witchy symbols to this side of my face. So I went on a website and looked and see some witchy symbols and then I just drew them all with an eyeliner. And then I realized my jaw wasn't contoured enough, so I took a synthetic brush that had nice bristly look and painted on some black water activated paint onto my neck. I also painted the tips of my fingers black so that it was like soot when you get burned in a fire. There's gonna be lots of charred areas of the skin and that's what I wanted to portray. And we are done. This costume is from HalloweenCostumes.com. I will link this in the description of this video. This wig is from Rockstar Wigs. Both of these really made the look. I absolutely love this wig. It is so full, so full and so long. I wish this was my real hair. How can I get that to be a reality? And that is it for this makeup look. I hope you guys like it. I love it. I can't believe it's already day one of Halloween. How is it actually here? How? If you want to know how I did this, I just bought a cauldron from Party City and uh, some dry ice, and there you go. Don't touch it. I touched it, and uh, they tell you not to do that for a reason, turns out. Well, I hope you guys like this video. If you did, make sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel. I am putting out a new Halloween costume makeup tutorial every other day in October. Also, make sure you follow me on all my other social media stuff, Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, Snapchat. Everything is Raw Beauty Christie. I thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you at my next video.